40-year-old cold case involving the death of a 13-year-old Heather Porter from Halethorpe is now closed. DNA testing revealed the girl's killer. WMAR 2 News has been following this case since the start, and reporter Dave Dentling joins us live right outside Baltimore County Police Headquarters. 40 years later, Dave, you spoke to loved ones tonight. What are they saying? Hey there, Jamie. Well, a childhood friend of Heather says she's been waiting for this day since her best friend disappeared back in 1981. DNA testing revealed it was a neighbor who took Porter's life. For 40 years, leaving her that close to her house and not walking her all the way home. Sue Yutzi unleashes the tears pent up from years of not knowing what happened to her childhood friend, Heather Porter. Today, Sue has some closure and is going public on what was a 40-year-old cold case. I went to see Heather on um, November 18th at a grave site to let her know they solved her case. Earlier in the month, Baltimore County detectives learned through DNA testing the man responsible for Porter's death was John Anthony Petreca Jr. Further advances in DNA technology did lead us to actually a possible suspect that we identified. From there, we got um, written consent from the state's attorney's office in order to exhume that possible suspect's body. And from there, we were able to collect DNA samples. We went ahead and tested those against the DNA sample that we already had from the suspect and that was indeed a match. It's unclear how Patrick knew Porter, but records show he lived on Ridge Avenue, less than three tenths of a mile away from the teen's home and where she was last seen walking with Sue. Police now know it was Patreka who sexually assaulted the teen, strangled her and dumped her body in a wooded area in Towson. Well, I know that the person that killed Heather is dead, which makes me happy he's not living his life. Court records from the 60s and 70s show Petreka had a criminal history, including arrests for rape. For the longest time, Heather Porter's case remained unsolved. But thanks to advancement in DNA testing and a childhood friend who never gave up, Heather's case was solved. I can't thank the Detective Pataglia and Baltimore County Cold Case enough. For weeks I have been anxious and not been able to sleep in my, I just, um, I needed a name and know that it was solved. And having that name, putting loved ones to uh, rest right now, of course, they still have more questions. Now, this case proving that no matter how much time has passed, if you know something, even after years of passing, if you have that tip, police want to hear from you. Reporting live tonight in Townsend, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News. All right, Dave, thank you.